Hi, and welcome to the Winning After College interview series. I'm your host, Shannon Johnson, and it has been so amazing being along for the ride for this entire interview series with all of these amazing experts and influencers. I really hope that you have gained so much tips and insights and all of the amazing free resources that our guests have provided. So today, we're going to flip the camera a little bit and I am going to be able to open up to all of you and share a little bit about me and my background and what I'm up to with my business stand out and get hired and why winning after college has been such an amazing experience for me to link arms with all these influencers. So with that, I'm not going to be just talking into the screen. I actually have a really special guest with me who has been a part of my life for several years along for the journey of the entire birthing and um, formatting and development of Stand Out and Get Hired. And her name is Tanner Davis. I want to introduce her right now. Hi, Tanner. Hi. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, thank you for having me. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm just really excited for everyone to get to know you and what Stand Out and Get Hired means for you because I think it comes from such a special place in your heart. So my so, first question for yeah. you, I guess, would have to be to share a little bit more about your background and your story um, and maybe also what you think differentiates you? Ooh, she's asking the tough questions. I love that. Okay, so a little bit about me. I think if you've read anything about me, I have 25 years of experience in corporate America. And so we can't possibly go through two and a half dozen or two and a half decades of my life, but let me just give it to you in a nutshell. This is what you need to know about me. And I've reflected so much over what lights me up throughout my life. And it's always just been people. And I know that sounds weird, but a lot of people say, you know, well, how can you apply being around people and loving people to a job? There's a lot of things that you work with people, but what was going to light me up? And so every decision that I made along the way, I started in retail and then I went into recruiting and then I went back into retail and management and merchandising and marketing. And then I, I embarked on my 18 year career in corporate America with the largest pharmaceutical company and the number one pharmaceutical company in the world, Pfizer Pharmaceuticals. And I held positions there for 18 years. And as I look back on my career in all of these different positions, it was the people that I served, the people that I worked with, the people that were leading me and guiding me. And there was a theme and this goes to my values and it goes to people that were open-minded, that had humor and that just like lifted everyone else up around them that supported the whole team, the whole organization. And so I look back on all the different cultures of the companies that I chose to work for and there were a couple common threads. Number one, they were number one in their industry. They were number one in class and that mattered to me. Number two, when I delved into like who, what number one meant was the people and the culture. They cared, they were hard workers, they had high standards and they were winners. And number three would be just the actual job at hand, how it fit into my life. And each position, before I was age 28, I had Five, I worked for five companies before I was age 28 and I got married that year. And so it sounds like a lot, but each position I specifically took time on choosing and all of those values associated with those companies that were aligned with me, that's why I made the decision to work with them. And then when I thought, you know, this isn't quite right, I need to move on, I moved on quickly. And so that's why I made a series of decisions in my early and late 20s to do that. So but throughout my 18-year career with Pfizer, I loved the team aspect. I always was thinking, okay, I just found this information out. 
who else needs to know about this? Does my teammate, does my manager, does the higher up need to know? Do my customers and the whole community need to know? And so I loved the managers that I worked with that always didn't just focus on the company's goals, sales, whatever we were you know, rolling out to the customer, but they cared about me and they developed me along the way. And several managers actually stick out the most. And those were the ones that really focused not just on what the company wanted, but what the whole team needed as individuals to lift us all up, to elevate our success. And truly that is why I am here today in, you know, evolving into an entrepreneur. I was always an entrepreneur at heart it, at any of my companies. You know, I always had a name tag on for who I worked for, but when I walked into my customers, I would always be like Shannon Incorporated. You know, I represented the company well, but I was me. I was always stand out. I was different. I was unique. I just brought that flair. So a couple years ago is when I embarked on this idea that I had that came to me, not just from me, but from an individual like, like Tanner Davis that we have here today. And so Tanner, um, I know we're gonna go into a little bit about how we met and how it all evolved, but that really is, is it in a nutshell, how I, how I got, got to be here. Yeah, no, I love that, I love that story. Um, I really want to highlight uh, or touch on the fact how you mentioned that you loved how when you would get new information, you would want to quickly like relay that to everyone else in your company. Um, I think that really speaks to stand out and get hired as a whole because you're so great at, I, I think it comes from a place of your passion for helping other people. So do you want to maybe go into more depth about how stand out and get, and get hired was birthed? Yeah, so I think that I am promoting confidence and going after your dreams. And I don't oftentimes think it's easy to wake up and see it. But all of a sudden, I started paying attention to these themes throughout my career and the person that I was. And I would learn something about someone in an office or a hospital, and they would give me a fact. And I'd say, boom, I know how to connect them with someone that can help them or get something to another level, right? And that's when halfway through my Pfizer career, we did an amazing um, workshop with StrengthsFinder. I am a huge proponent of StrengthsFinder, as you know, Tanner. Um, <laughs> I love delving into people's strengths. And so I had a fascination with putting pieces together. And so my number one strength is being strategic. So when you think of a strategy, there's like lots of moving parts and then formulating a plan to get to your goal. And so I think that with that, communicating with a lot of different people and putting the pieces together and getting to a goal is always my first priority. And so I, that's how I think. I just think very strategically, very creatively, who can help who to get to this being better and just thinking differently. And I was always challenging people to that. So I think that that attribute about me in when I met with another very strong individual, a strong woman that had graduated from college and Tanner, I've told you this story a million times, that when I sat down and met with this 25 year old young woman who I had known for a whole decade and she had finally graduated from college and she was so excited, she got her degree, she was a kinesiology major and she thought she was gonna be a physical therapist and her parents thought, gosh, she's gonna be the successful physical therapist. And she for a second said to herself, this is not the path I wanna go down. How am I gonna tell my parents this, this dream of theirs is not going to come true? And she said, I may be interested in pharmaceutical sales. I'm like, great, let's sit down. I'm so flattered. You know, so even before I explored and like started telling her all the ins and the outs and about pharmaceutical sales, I just looked at her and I said, so tell me who you are. And honestly, she just welled up with tears and really didn't know where to start. And I said, all right, here's a napkin, wipe your tears. And I said, I'll tell you who you are. And I just started explaining to her, to her all of the attributes and how she made me feel when she walked in a room and 
she was highly accomplished, high achiever, academically, athletically, beautiful inside and out. So my point in sharing this is when I walked out of that meeting with her, I tasked her to do a couple things to research in pharmaceuticals and all that, of course. Let's do your resume. Let's do this. Um, but I said to myself, this is what I'm meant to do. Now, how will I find people to help? How can I do this? Because she showed me that there was a need. I saw this highly driven, ambitious individual that was lost and felt such uncertainty. And then I thought, you know, I have all the building blocks that it takes to help this individual. And so there I said to myself, I'm going to take these two and a half decades of experience and loving to be around people and helping them get to another level in their life because nothing lights me up more when I see people progressing in life and getting better and focusing on themselves. And so that was that, yeah, so that's how it kind of ties back. That was a very good question. I love that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love hearing that. It's just, um, it's really inspiring and it's so great, you know, like to be someone in my position and to have had you um, even though you met very organically, <laughs> um, but to have had you, you know, from graduating from high school into starting college and then declaring a major and um, starting and getting an internship and like your help throughout this entire process has been just absolutely amazing. And I'm so excited for what the future holds for you. So with that being said, um, what are you most excited for about your business right now? The first thing that comes to my mind when I hear you speak, Tanner, is working with individuals like you. When I, we, we had mutual friends and I knew you, but, and then I, I saw you right before you um, embarked on your college career at UC Santa Cruz. And the one attribute about you, first impressions do last a lifetime, remember that? that you had this proactive way about you. You immediately wanted to jump in to see how you could help me. And also you saw, well, this is gonna help me as well. You were proactive. You, you asked to help me. And you said, I, I think I can provide you with market research of what I'm going through. And so to answer your question, I am seeking individuals just like you that are ambitious, driven, that, are going after your dreams, you're taking time for yourself every month out of your extremely busy schedule. I'm so impressed. And I live vicariously through you and your, your classmates and recent graduates that are just on the path to greatness. And I'm just so in awe of everything that you possess and that you do every day. And so really that is the most exciting thing for me in my business. I have big visions and this is one of the pillars of success that I have developed in the customizable curriculum with Stand Out and Get Hired. And it is about vision. I have people write on boards to just illustrate your vision, pretend like it's really going to happen. This is a dream. And I do that. If I don't do that, how can I convey this to others. And so it's all around my vision, my creativity, my open-mindedness, thinking differently and, and helping others along the way. And so my vision, my big vision is for all universities across the country to have a mentorship program developed for them. This is not just a win for the college students that are being offered it, because I know career development and business schools and all the different schools do everything in their power and they do an amazing job helping one-on-one -on -one, um, students. But what better way to actually recruit amazing students like you, Tanner, but for UC Santa Cruz to actually say, we have a developed mentorship program specific to guide them to explore their career after college and to give all the fundamental tools that you need in an actual mentorship curriculum program. So that is really my, my huge vision, but more short term, it's just really getting out to universities meeting one-on-one, -on -one, because I love that the most, seeing the progress that an individual has. With a group workshop, you can't really see the progress, not so much, unless we do continue to work together. And that's the importance of having a mentor one-on-one, -on -one, 
Do you agree with that, Tanner, actually? Let me ask you about that. It's hard for me to answer all the questions. No, I, I totally, 100%, and I'm totally in agreement with you on that. Um, I think that a mentorship is just so crucial in just the navigation of, you know, being a student <laughs> into the workforce. Um, but not only that, but just to have someone who's there to really guide you and just have a resource like that, that um, can guide you both, you know, professionally, but also I think even emotionally at times, like I know like you've been there for me <laughs> on all different boards, parts of the spectrum, but um, yeah, no, I think that a mentorship is so crucial. And um, I think we're going to see that, you know, it's going to be even a more of a popular need as the years go by. But um, I know that you've asked all of the other, or all of everyone else that you've interviewed in this series, um, what gift they would offer. So what is your free gift that you're offering? Oh yeah, really quick. I'm super excited about this. I think I've provided this to you as well. Tanner, you, you've been starting to go through the interviewing process. And what most people don't realize is that something that you don't do on a daily basis like interviewing, you think, oh, I know who I am. I can walk in and show them and my resume is stellar. And, you know, but you have to remember how competitive it is out there. And I always call Tanner top of the food chain. Most of the people I work with are like top of the food chain. They're driven, they're ambitious, and they want to win. And so this, hence winning after college. And so when you walk into that interview, I arm you with the tools that it are necessary for you to crush the competition. It's super competitive, but I want you to stay in your lane. So to be able to display yourself and to showcase your strengths and your skills and what you bring to the table and you knowing that you are best aligned to that position, because that's my goal is for people to not fall into positions, into jobs after college, just because they got an offer and they think, oh, I have to get a job. I need to make money. I want to move out. I need to pay my insurance for my car. I want to have a social life. I need a job. I need a job. My intention is to have you be intentional. And so to cut to the chase, the resource that I'm offering is around the interview skill. It takes 20 hours to become proficient in any skill. And whether or not you are carving out 20 minutes to practice a skill once a week, that is what this resource is intended, is for you to take a snapshot view of everything it takes to be prepared for that interview, for you to crush it. And it's 10 steps on things to focus on. And so you can actually pick one thing out of the list and start chipping away on it, away at it and then have your end game goal in mind. I have an interview in three months. I'm gonna take this list and start working on every aspect of it and find a mentor like me to role play and to practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. You get one shot to make a first impression and getting that job can come down to that one hour that you have with that interviewer, that decision maker. And this, I only know through experience. I think a lot of times when you pick your major, or you pick a job, it's because it's something you really like believe in and you're passionate about and it's your purpose. And oftentimes it hits like a chord with you, like a pain point maybe in your life. And for me, the interview experience was a pain point. Like I missed out on so many opportunities because I just missed the mark in how I practiced and how I answered the question. I didn't get to the result quick enough or whatever it may be. And so it became like my mission to help other people not feel that pain and just to go in totally themselves and confident and like, I'm going to nail this. This is the one I want and I'm going to get this. And so I'm excited to provide that in interview, you know, top 10 tips on what to, what to prepare for. And, um, and you can follow me um, through social media to get more tips like this and to provide this free value to you on a consistent basis. I'm on Instagram and I'm really going to start to amp up my value that I'm bringing to the audience once I start to to really build my following on Instagram and it's at stand out and get hired. And I'm Shannon at standoutandgethired.com via email. And I'm on LinkedIn under Shannon Johnson, Stand Out and Get Hired. And um, Facebook, I have a business page as well as a private page. So you can find me anywhere. 
And if you are a parent or an influencer of someone that is going through college and a recent graduate that is, you know, going after their dreams, preparing for their career, I'm your girl. And I always, I always promise this, promise this to everyone, Tanner, when I get on the phone with people, I'm like, this is my disclaimer. I will be your biggest fan. I'm going to root for you on the sidelines in life till you get to your goal. So trust me, you're not going to get rid of me, but um, <laughs> it's just, I love it. It's just, it's my, I love this. I, I, I just, I'm just so passionate about um, our future leaders. That's awesome. I love, yeah, no, I mean, your passion honestly really excites me and it makes me feel hopeful for my future and um, to find a career that I really love and find as amazing as you find, stand out and get hired. Um, so my last and final question for you is how do you define winning after college? Yeah, I love that. Well, I'm so excited about your future too. And um, so winning after college, I think just what the word winning to me means is just being the happiest person. And for me, it's about making, like what we learned when we were little kids, make good choices. And I think winning after college is continuing to make the best choices possible for you to make you like be true to you and i think that if you look at yourself in the mirror and, and lay your head down at night every night and say to yourself i was true to myself i did what i knew in my heart was best for me today then that's winning and that's going to reflect out to the world and to everyone around you. And you're just going to have like a ripple effect of, of winning, of greatness, of um, just loving yourself because it comes with believing in you first. And then you can conquer the freaking world, I'm telling you, okay? So if you work on one thing today, it's just believe in you, be true to you, be so proud of everything that you do, the small little wins, celebrate them and move on to the next one. So thank you for having me, Tanner. Thank you for having me, Shannon. I'm so excited for your career and stand out and get for, to stand out and get hired. I love it. I know it, it, it starts to roll off your tongue, you know, yeah, once we, yeah. once we get the word out, more. <laughs> so, but thank you so much. And I want to thank the audience for tuning in and we're going to be having this all on replay as well offered to you. So um, until next time, winning after college, win, go big, dream big, be true to you. Okay. And, um, and, and go for it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon.